Hello, welcome back. In our last chapter, we have discussed how we can use Selenium RC or Selenium WebDriver to enhance the default capabilities of Selenium IDE. We have exported the Java client from Selenium IDE. So we use the export feature in Selenium IDE to have our client. We have not really written the client ourselves from the scratch. So what we are going to do in this chapter, we are going to write a client using WebDriver APIs to drive the automation steps. Just recall, we intend to automate this web application. So our goal was to automate this always.com so that instead of we giving ourselves manually, the Selenium client can put data drive and then give us a price for the best possible itinerary. Okay, so that was the original goal that we came up. So how do we write that client? So if you want to automate this thing, you are doing some steps. So what are the steps? First you opening the Firefox browser. Then you are going to this website called office.com. Then you are clicking on this button called flights only. Then you are entering some data here from to leave and return and so on. Okay, so essentially these are the steps that I need to follow to, to do a uh, flight search. I'm going to write the equivalent Java program for all these steps. And if I write the equivalent Java programs for all the steps, then by end of the step 16, I should have a Java client ready to drive. That, that is the goal of this video. Okay, so let's go to Eclipse. Let's create a new project. Let's say this project name is Selenium WebDriver. Create a new Java class. So I want to, I want to name the package structure here. Enter dot ua dot Selenium. Then my class name is WebDriver Demo One. All right. So so what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to write equivalent Java statement that will give me these steps. So the so the, to do that, I need to create a main method here. So inside this, I will write my Java code that is going to do these steps. So the first thing is that I want to open a Firefox browser. To open a Firefox browser, what I have to do, I have to create a Firefox driver instant. Web driver. Let's, sorry, web driver. Let's say driver name is WD. New Firefox. This statement is going to start a Firefox browser. It looks like there are a couple of errors. So it looks like this web driver cannot be resolved. Okay, so there's a couple of things. We didn't really add the libraries that are supposed to be added. Let, let go to properties and add the external jar file and selenium standalone jar. Okay, so I have added that one. Now let's see what this error is giving. So the error is giving that we have to import this web driver class. So import it. Then then still there is another error. So this is also wants to import Firefox driver. Let's import this thing. So let's try to run this program. Okay. So this is what it what it did. If I run this program, it started the Firefox browser. Okay. So that means this part is working fine. Using this statement, we have created a object WD. Then what are you going to do? We are going to use that object WD to do the remaining things. To know what this WD, what are the methods in WD, you can always go to this website. Okay, so right now I'm looking at the class for Firefox driver. This this Firefox driver has following methods, and also it inherits methods from its parent class, which is Remote Web Driver. All right, so those methods are all written here. Okay, you can either take a look at here or just do what I am. I need to do WD. Okay, so next step for me is to go to the URL. What is the URL? The URL name is orbis.com. So let's see if there is any method that can take us there. So one of the method is called get. Okay, and this get method will take an argument, and that argument is the URL location. So let's do that. Get, and then the the argument here is the URL location. In this case, it is orbis.com. Just make sure that you give HTTP. Okay, so now let's try to run this thing again. Okay, so we have started the Firefox browser by the step number one. 
and in step number two went to this orbis.com so basically let's write our steps so this is step one and the step one is to open the Firefox and step two is go to URL step three is click on this flight only radio button so our goal is to click this flight only radio button so to do that what we need to know we need to find out how to locate this element okay so basically to do that so let's find out the element location so there is an API in in web driver find element we have to give how do I find the element recall the different location strategy that you, you learned you learn that you can locate an element by using xpath by using name by using ID by using CSS so what I have given here is that I want to locate this flight only radio button by xpath so what selenium does this find element is going to take an argument and that argument is of class by or by okay so there is a class called by alright so this is the class called by and this class by has couple of static methods so you can give this by and then the method name so since I am interested in getting by xpath so what I'm going to do by xpath xpath expression and what is the xpath expression that is here I just take copy it and let's put it so this is how you are going to find that element so once you find that element okay so obviously this statement is going to return me a element object and that is and, and that is in this case is this object flight only whatever element object you got then you need to click on that so therefore I'm going to do a click these three steps the first step is going to open the Firefox browser second one is going to go to the orbis.com then third statement is going to click on that let's see if this is happening or not so go to orbis.com and it clicking on that flight only okay so, so far so good next thing to click on the from city text field to click on the from city text field the first thing is need I need to locate this thing so how to locate this thing you can locate this thing by name okay so therefore what we are going to do here we are going to use wd dot find element then how do we find the element we find this element not by xpath but by name so therefore name then what is the locator this is the locator so now we found that element here we, we have to do a click here but what I want to do I want to, I want to really clear this thing. instead of doing a click here what we can do let's see if there's any other options are there then looks like there's one option called clear so let's see what clear is doing so this is a step four okay so let's save it and let's try to run this thing okay so it looks like you are getting an error here so let's see what is the error and why you are getting this thing so basically the error is coming at step four it's saying that it is not able to locate using this selector so what is really happening here is that up you know these things just go you know these steps are just executing as fast as possible but you see in your application if you click on this it takes some time to load this thing right so what we can do that we can add here a slip time that can be done by using thread dot slip so what I just did right now I added a slip time this is going, going basically giving an error because this will throw an exception and we need to handle it so what we can do we can basically throws exception so with this it should be now fine so now let's run this thing okay so it's going to flights only then it clear this thing remember so last time we are seeing some LAX here but this time we are not doing anything because it cleared that one step 5 or what you're going to do you are going to add a city there let's say that city is DFW so what I'm going to do I'm going to write this thing up to this because this is how I locate that element then I, into, I, I need to type something the, the, the equivalent API for type is called send okay so if I do send keys DFW here so now let's see what's going on here if I run this thing okay so this now 
put dfw here so let's see what we have done we open a firefox browser then we go to that website then we are finding the element then we are clicking on that then we are slipping for some time page refreshes then once the page refreshes then we are able to find this element called from then what we are doing we are clearing if anything else was there before then we are giving dfw so similarly we can do the same steps to locate this element then clear this element then send a destination city okay so this is what i did so step 6 and step 7 are exactly similar to 4 and 5 but only that we have to find a different location so i need to use this locator so what i have what i have done here i just copied these two lines and then just change the locator so if i run this thing it should it should put the the from city as dfw and two city as sfo let's see if it's working or not okay so dfw and sfo they are going to use the same strategy that whatever used here we are going to use we are going to add lib and from that how to do that we have to find out how to locate this element this element can be located using this locator okay so by using the same technique that whatever how we are doing for the from city and to city we are going to enter a data for leave that and return that the same procedure we are going to find the element and this time we are finding the element by locator string by name and this is a string we clear it then we are going to send keys and we are giving a date here similarly we are return that so it's in another locator and we are sending a keys here so let's run this thing so as you see right now I have entered the data automatically. The next thing what I just need to do, I need to search. So how, what is the locator for search flight? The search flight item can be identified by name equal to search. So so here is a Java program for this thing. So I need to find so wd dot find element. Then by again name and what is the name? That is search. Search then whatever I'm going whatever element I find I want to click on that that's all so let's run yeah. so now the search thing happening so let's stop here in the, so in the next video we'll see how to extend whatever program we have here so that we can have this 294 store in a variable